So uh, welcome to the Morris Federation series of online events during lockdown. Uh, my name is Pauline Woods-Wilson. We also have Jenny Everett from Morris Federation hosting today. And um, today we've got Virginia Crew, Peter Crew, and Carol O'Reilly on the chat to, um, who are all from Malkin Morris in Lancashire. I know that there are several other members of their team here today as well. And uh, they are going to be teaching you the Nelson dance that they researched from their local area. And uh, just uh, over to you, Virginia. Thank you. Hello. Um, lovely to see you all. I'm finding this absolutely terrifying because I was, this is supposed to be a, a, an introductory or intermediate level dance. And I already know how many of you are very good dancers. May I just do a quick check? Can you uh, wave your arms around? I'm going to ask you if you are either a complete beginner, if you are uh, intermediate, you've done a bit, or if you're an active dancer. I know most of you are active dancers because I recognize your names over the years from Facebook and things like that. I'm, I'm absolutely so overawed. You have no idea to actually meet so many of you. It's fantastic. Anyway, so I'll, have we got any beginners? Wave your hands like that if you're a beginner. <laughs> Great. How, how, how anybody rate themselves as medium? medium and actively dancing and more or less you could be told to turn right and people will know what you mean. Excellent. Right. So you may find this a little bit easy for you. Um, it's a simple dance that we can get right in an hour, I think. Um, I've, I've chosen it. Uh, well, what, let me tell you what I'm going to do first and I'll tell you why I've chosen it. I'm going to do a little bit of talking about it, where it came from, why I chose it. Um, I'm going to show you how a recording we made, which is perhaps not the best recording, but it'll tell you, show you how the dance should look. Then we're going to learn it. Then there'll be a question and answer session for anything that we haven't actually covered. And then we're going to finish off, I hope, with doing the dance properly at the end. So I hope that's going to work. Right, back to where this dance came from. Um, it's called the Nelson. If any of you know Nelson, you'll be a bit surprised at that because you won't think Nelson would have a dance, but it does. Um, it dates back to the early 1900s. Um, Julian Pilling, who was the squire of Cone Royal and quite an authority on Morris dancing, actually researched it. Um, and on the notes, it says he doesn't like anybody else to dance it. Fortunately, I played in his Cayley band for some years and there are quite a few of Cone Royal. Cone Royal are now um, no longer in existence. So um, the, 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 what's the have given permission to use the dance. And in fact, particular thanks to Ivan Baldwin and um, Rats, forgotten his name. Um, come back to you. Yes, it'll come back to me, um, who, who was a dancer. Um, and in fact, he watched us doing it once and said, yeah, that was more or less it, but um, would we do it faster and get our knees up further? So there you go. Um, it's, so it's a fairly simple one. Another thing that made it a good one to choose is that it, um, it, the, one of the notes Julian made on it, and Julian was a, very much a purist, was, oh, choose a figure as the cause. That gives you a free run for anything that you want to do. Whilst I'm talking about that, can I explain my philosophy um, and the team's philosophy? We want people to do things. We are not precious about them. If you take this and you turn it into something slightly different, we're not going, we're going to be delighted. Um, around here, um, if you, until quite recently, if you had a cultural event, you didn't used to see Lancashire people do Lancashire things. And that's a bit sad, really, because our culture around here, your dance history is part of your culture and your background, and I think it's important. And this isn't a publicity thing, but if you're interested further, we produce this booklet, which is free except for postage, which has about 20 of the local dances that we researched. And if anybody wants a copy, to email me or contact me back. I'm happy to send you one, but it'd be nice if you'd cover the postage. So let's get back to the business and to work. A um, couple of um, uh, other, other small points. Um, no, I'll do it with them afterwards. Let's have a look at that first of all. 
I'm just going to have my fingers crossed, folks, that I can get it to work. Okay, I'm going to show you it takes about two minutes. I was dancing on a very wet, cold, soggy, open chicken. So let's see if I can do it. you need to decide on the position you want to dance. If you're an expert dancer, you can choose any one of four spots. And I'm going to move back now and hope that you can still see me and hear me. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm a front right, position two if you use the numbers. So I'm going to dance here. If you're a beginner, I strongly recommend that you do the same because you can more or less copy what I'm doing then. So you would be a front right and you'd be facing that way on this side. I know it looks a bit strange when you're teaching a dance. It's very confusing. If you're experienced, please feel free to choose another position. So you could be front left, back left, back right. And it'd be quite nice actually if you've got some experienced dancers to have people doing that sort of thing. Biddy, who is just going to wave her arms in a minute, uh, Bridget, Bridget Rowan, is going to be a front left. So if you want somebody to copy, um, I wouldn't recommend actually copying anybody except me, more about that in a minute, but she'll be, she'll be doing it for that side. So you need to decide on your position and stay there. That is your pitch for the day um, because you need to learn it from that position. If you learn it from that position, you can probably do it ever, but you need to learn it standing in that one place. Okay, so now the other small thing is don't watch anybody else. 
you've no idea how much that grieves me because I'm, I'm an elderly, slightly overweight lady asking you to watch me. But um, the music and myself should be more or less in time. And if you watch me, it will be easy to follow. The moment you start watching somebody else, it gets really complicated. And you, 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 unless you're very good, your brain can't handle all the different things that are happening. So with no more ado, let's make a start. Um, and the start is the step is a hop step. So I'm going to stand back over here. Can you hear me? Can you? Yes, good, right. The step. And you start on your inside foot. So if I'm going to start on that foot. And I'm going to do eight hop steps. So you're not trying to just get into the feel of it. Sometimes we do warm ups. Um, I don't very often do them because I'm a very active person. We do a lot of outdoor work. Um, if you are a person who knows you have problems, you might like to do your own warm ups. For example, to use Bridget again. Bridget knows she has trouble with her knees. So before she does it, she will do some sort of stretches to warm up. Um, I tend to do shakes maybe, and maybe the odd twist just to make sure that all the muscles that I think I've used are have done. Very simple things like that. Um, this dance isn't very strenuous. You're not going to be doing odd stretches and turns, but at the same time, I, I do recommend warm-ups of some sort if you think you need them. Right, let's get back to the stepping. So you're going to say, standing in your place, so if you like to go to your place, and the first one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Want to have a go at that with me? And get those knees up. Alan Seymour, that was the name I couldn't remember. Alan Seymour said, get your knees up. So you want your space, you're facing the way, in the position that you're going to be, so you're either front left, front right, back left, back right, and you're doing, I'm going to stand seat slightly so you can see knees, right angle, like that. Okay, after two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but you would be facing that way. Right, I have some sticks. Grab whatever you're going to use, because the next bit you need something you can shake. So, you've done the eight steps to get into place, there are one, two, three, four. Shall we do that from the beginning? So, still no music, just sort of to my count. After two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out, in, out, in. Um, yeah, everyone okay? Let's do it one more time and then we'll finish it off. After two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right hand out in. Okay? Now it's got to be a real shake. Really sort of a real shake in the air above your head. And the last bit of the chorus is some was that a message I was supposed to do something about? No. It's an inside foot to side time. So I'm on left, but if you were over here, you'd be on your right. The whole dance is mirrored. So as you'll see in just a minute, because the last bit of the chorus, you have to do a whatever your hand is, your outside hand across to your oppo partner there, your imaginary partner. Mine's called Agnes. I don't know about yours. Sorry if there's an Agnes in this uh, group. Uh, that way with your other hand, then that way, and then that way, and they're all really clear actions. Can we just walk that through and then we'll do it with the music a couple of times? So, inside foot, and it's your outside hand when you start waving your hand around. Inside foot, outside hand, but eight on the spot first. After two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Out, in, out, in. <laughs> right. From what I can see, that looked really good as a start, but you must, must make sure that you
your turns are clear. So when you turn in, smile at Agnes. There you go. Then it's straight back like that. Straight back like that and straight forward. I know you probably know that, but I'm going to tell you anyway, because there are a few people who don't know what we're doing. Okay? Right. What we'll do now is we'll do it to music twice. So there'll be a short introduction. And we'll just do the chorus twice to give everybody a chance. One of the things I like about Zoom is if you get it wrong, nobody really knows. The Zoom practices are really good because you know you've got it wrong, but nobody else does and you don't inconvenience anybody else. Okay, can we have some music, please? Coming up now. Inside for. Great, I just smashed my line, my center light with my stick. Oh, I'm not responsible. <laughs> okay, right. Is that part of the um, assessment? Yeah. Let's move on to the first figure. The first figure is twos, and I'm going to demonstrate it from back there again. So um, it's all to account. You start off there. In your position, and you're going to do a right handed twos. So you go one, two, three. Now, I don't know if you can see from that, but your stick or your wooden spoon or your lump of celery or whatever you're using, um, I'm probably better getting further away, aren't I? There you go. Um, is straight with your hand, and you're in a straight line. So, beautiful straight line like that on three. And you stay there till four. Sorry, it's straight. I just looked at myself and realized it wasn't straight. Straight like that. And you stay there till four. Then you go five, six, seven, eight. And you've got that lovely straight line again. Nine, 10, 12. So that's a straight line again. And then you go out to the opposite side with your sticks down by your sides. And you turn up more or less on 50. Right, shall we just have a go at that all together um, to the count? So you go back to your starting place if you were having a go at it. I'm just going to count you straight into it. Remember, three is the first straight lines, and you don't stand still because you're still doing this all the time, but for the moment, stay in a place. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, straight line. 9, 10, 11, 12 straight line, 14, 15, 16. Everybody happy so far? Easy, isn't it? Told you it was an easy dance. Right, now, to get back, it's still right-handed. It so it is one, two, three, have a go. Sorry, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, and you should be facing your place now, 13, 14, 15, 16. Do I need to walk through that again? No, right. Well, do you know, let's do a chorus and twos. We might just do it twice just to get into the mood. Okay, right. Can we have some music, please, sir? Inside foot, outside hand.
technical help these days. Right, so, so far that's the first figure. And I'm going to be for the second figure, which is my favourite figure in the dance. And I'm going to explain it first, and then, then we'll try and walk it through, and then we'll do it. It's basically, it's called mixed twos. The front couple does a twos, the back couple does a chorus. That means that the front couple ends up on the wrong side at the end of the first half of twos. I didn't say that, did I? It's the first half of twos, okay? Once the front couple have done the first half of twos and the back couple have done a, a, a chorus, then it's the other way around. So the back couple do first half of twos and the front couple When it works, um, and it's such a shame I couldn't get to do what show you properly, um, you end up with this sort of, all these different movements all over the place. Um, and I, I really like that. I love, I love, I love the way it goes. Uh, and then you do the same thing back again. So it's the front couple doing the second half of a right-handed twos and the back couple do, are doing a chorus and then the other way around. So that's called mixed twos. Now, being picky as I am and wanting it to look really, really nice, can I point out that when you've got your stick up, it should be over your head, it should be up like that, you're literally on <laughs> Yeah, watch your lights. <laughs> Uh, like that. Okay, so um, stick up, arm straight. It looks so much classier if you do. And if you've got your hand down like that or anything like that, it doesn't look half as classy as if you've got your stick up there. So, so go for that. It's actually easier on your back if you bring your knees up properly than if you don't, because you balance better. You, you tend to crouch more if you just do, do a, 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 a gentle skip you can't see my feet so you don't know what i'm doing but i'm sure you understand so get your get the knees up at right angles if you anyway can right um let's just walk through two to make sure everybody understands and then, then we'll do it so i think carol got the halfway for that no it's false right so if i was if i was the front right as i am my first bit on that will be one, two, three, four, and I'll be doing twos. The back two in my set, you'll be doing a chorus. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, out to the opposite side. Right, this is where it gets a little bit exciting because when you do the chorus, you still do it the same way around. Not facing your nice smiling partner, sorry Agnes, you will be facing the wall but you still do it the same way around. Okay, so my back two here are doing the mix, the twos, the first part of twos. I'm doing a chorus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So far, so good. Now then, back again. So it's me because I'm the front two. One, two, three. The back two are doing a chorus. You get nobody to help you with this. You've got to do it by yourself. And I'm back over there. And then the back two do the twos whilst I'm doing the chorus here. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How was that? So far, so good. If I haven't explained it very well, then it isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have I got anything to say? What time? You turn up the chorus. Down on 15. Yeah, that's right. Uh, you are moving around with your partner. You're having to imagine your other three partners here. But it's fairly easy to do as long as you have your square and you know exactly which position you're dancing from. So, okay. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> uh, right. So far, so good. So, shall we give that a go? It's a long figure, um, and you are skipping all the time with your knees up. Um, we'll start with the chorus and go straight into mixed twos, which means the front two will be doing twos, um, doing twos, but the back two will be doing the chorus twice in a row. Okay, let's give it a go. Can we have some music, please, Maestro? Back 
thing from the beginning. Okay. Um, same hand. Yes, I'm not sure it's the same hand. I think it's the opposite one. I think it's the opposite hand. And the sticks come down on 15. It's not a decisive down, it's a down as you're turning sort of thing or getting into your place. Right. Okay. Yes. And of course, again, twos, I, I possibly didn't say it. When you're doing twos, you have to imagine your other partner there, sticks crossed like that, like that, at the top. Okay, so once more from the beginning, and then we'll move on to the next. Yes, I'm puffing a bit too. <laughs> I'm practicing. Right from the start, please. Okay. Down as you leave centre, yeah. Letting me know how unfit I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have a short pause now because the next figure I'm going to try sharing the screen again <laughs> because it's called mixed fours. It's like a mixed or a diagonal fours. So it's um, 
it's quite easy to, um, if, if you think of it as, as just a diagonals, but you do it as a four. And Carol, who's been helping out um, at the top, devised this. Now then, I'm just gonna try and get it to run. And is that on anybody's screen? No. No. I'm doing this the wrong way around, am I? Well, you've got to share the screen, really, haven't you? You press share screen and then choose which window you share. Yeah, right. Let's just try it again. There share, is. share screen. It says choose an application you want to do, which I am doing. Yeah, How that started. Excellent. Right. Um, OK, let's just do the... Now, can you all see that? There's, there's yes. a... Yes. It's really funny because I can only see you. <laughs> How weird is that? Never mind. Um, that, um, if I'm, that's this caller, which was me. Um, and the linker here is our deputy squire, is the uh, dancing where I am. Now then, the start of pause, you're all starting like that. Everybody turns right. Now, if you're on my side, you do a really long swirl round. Um, if you've got action, getting the skirts or swirling around. If you're on the other side, you've got really easy money. You can just put your right hand in. And it's exactly the same count. So you're moving in, and on three, guess what? You see it go up in the middle. Your outside hand is down, um, sort of vaguely loosely held, just loosely held. Okay, three. And if you notice, that is a cross. And my position there, which is that one, um, it is, I'm, 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 out, I'm, I'm across the set. And I'm, since I'm two, opposite me is three, um, and that's across the set as well. And the people at one and four positions are up and down. Now, this is harder to explain than to do, because if you've done what I've said and just turned right, or put your right hand in, you're actually in the right place anyway. But it's nice if you can make a picture of it, if you can make it square like that. I'm just going to talk it through and then we'll, we'll, we'll walk it through afterwards. So, there we go. Uh, next one. Round you go, and you don't go very far. You go out to the opposite corner as if you're doing a diagonal. And on eight, you should be facing up with purposeful. Anybody who doesn't get there now, you need to laugh at. So, you need to get there in time. Um, so, that you're facing up. Okay. okay, and then going back. This time you're going to put your left hand in. That means that the same people who did a twirl last time and go all the way around, who are not on the far side, do a twirl. And the people with easy money are still on the on easy money because they just put their left hand in. So if you chose left, you've got an easy number for this one. So it's turning on the spot, moving in. Three, there's your sticks up, as you'd expect on three, since it's the magic number of sticks. Pause, and if you notice, the cross has just slightly changed position. So, uh, where I will be standing, I'm running up and down the set. And the other two are facing up and down the set, if you see what I mean. There's a difference. Our line goes up and down, they're facing up and down. So, but again, if you just turn left, you should find that you're there. And the wonderful thing about Zoom is you can do a quick shuffle of the anyway. So, and then it's five, six, seven, eight. And the thing I like about this figure is it's fast. And I think it works well if everybody knows where they're going and what they're doing. Um, I like fast figures. Um, they, they keep you on your toes, both literally as well as metaphorically. So that's, that's that. So we'll stop sharing that and we'll try and walk it. Okay, right? So if you've got your breath back, um, then what you need to do is go to your start position. And I'll just adjust my screen again. So I'm starting over here and I'm going to do a twirl because I'm on the right hand side. I'm going to do a twirl for one, two, three. And the hands go, should have gone in on three. Okay, so I've done a twirl and I'm there. I'm going to stop there till four, although I'm still skipping. Um, and then I'm going to go round like that, five, six, 
seven, and lo and behold, I end up automatically in the opposite corner. My bottom's in the right place. The people I can see have got it absolutely spot on. Right. Now, going back, it's the other way around. You're going to turn left. So we're going to do a twirl again. One, two, three. And I'm in a nice straight line up and down the middle again. Not again, for this figure, but a nice straight line. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Everybody happy? Easy, isn't it? Said it was easy. Right, okay. Um, what we'll do is we'll do a chorus and we'll do that twice just so as you get the feel of the timing of it. So you get the turns and the chips in on the right space. So we're going to do chorus, diagonal fours, chorus, diagonal fours. Okay, music please, Maestro. which I think I suspect a lot of you will not find difficult. So if everybody's fit, we'll run the whole dance right through to the chorus after diagonal fours. Okay. <coughs> Starting off six level.
being lucky are doing wonderful straight arms. Let's put these up. I can't see all of them. Yeah. Um, who's that? You're an inspiration and I love the spoons. <laughs> um, so now um, I think maybe we'll take any questions and if you've got we, we will um, uh, we'll do a, we'll do the cast out because I think probably you can all do cast out. Um, but let, let's just take the questions first because I'd hate to run out of time. Okay, anyone got any questions for Virginia? You can put them in the chat or, or unmute Hello. yourself and ask. Can you Are tell you me? Give notations at out? the end of the on the chorus. Do you turn in when you turn? Do you know you chorus halfway through your chorus and you say turn does everyone turn inwards or does everyone turn to the right um end of the chorus oh you um everybody turn turns in. inwards and everyone so, turns in yeah it, it's right. a mirror actually what we do because we're a daft team and um, we all we, we try and smile at each other because you're facing right. you're facing somebody else who's doing something really rather strange so it's a, it's a good reason to smile at them. So when you turn yeah. in, the first one is in, and then yeah. you back out. And it's really, really important, if you're not a Morris dancer, you, you may not know, it is really important that you're at the right angles. Yeah. If everybody's at the same angle, it looks stunning. Get a straight if, line. Yeah. yeah, if one person hasn't quite decided where they're going, it, it reflects on everybody else. So you've really, really got to get, and that's one reason why Zoom is so good, because if you miss it the first couple of times, nobody knows, and you can put yourself right, and, and we're always our own worst judges. We, we always notice our own faults before we notice other people, you know, so um, it, it, it's, it's important. Thank you for that question. That was a really useful question. Is, is there any, are there any others? Someone's asked about notation, and I'm mm -hmm. it's on the link for the event, but I'll also send it out afterwards. Yeah. Thank you. That was Leslie from Three Shires. Yeah. Thank you. Can I also say that if anybody wants to go over it, either with a team or anything, you can tell I'm an enthusiast. I'm desperate to do dancing as well. Ask mm -hmm. me. And if you want another Zoom session, I'd be absolutely delighted to see. And I'd be interested to see what you made of the dance as well. As I say, it does have a certain amount of flexibility. Oh. Um, I'm aware that it's probably a lot beneath the level of many of the dancers here, but it's it's a quick and easy, fun dance to do. So, um, any other questions? It's been asked what, what the tune is. Yeah, it's a yeah. steamboat. Yeah, steamboat. Yeah. Um, Julian actually said that they use things like British Grenadiers. Um, and, and if you get the notation from me, you get his original notation, plus mm. what we more or less do as well. So you, you get the whole picture. We've got permission to do that. Um, as I say from before, we've, we've been very, very lucky because until quite recently, you wouldn't have been able to get that. So um, yeah, steamboat or um, British Grenadiers. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? That's encouraging. Yeah. Just a couple of people saying how nice it is to dance again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm enjoying it, folks. I don't know about anybody else, except for not getting the machine to work properly. Um, yeah. Very well. You've done well. It, it, the, the thing is that because it's in fours, it's relatively easy to do in small groups. It would be an easy one to put together. Um, the only bit that isn't in fours is cast out, as I say. So it, it, it's quite an easy one to learn. Um, but it looks, it looks a bit more difficult, I, I think it does anyway, than, than, than it actually is. So... Shall we just, I'll tell you what, we'll walk through a cast out and then we'll, we'll finish off with that. Can I say, it has been such a privilege to talk to and see so many people. It really has. And, and to see the dancing as well. I, I was expecting lots and lots of beginners 
I'm wondering if we get, actually get through three figures. And we've got through three, and they look good, which is just fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Right, let's get this uh, final cast out. All it is basically, I'll explain, um, is you do the last chorus and then you keep doing the arms and you cast out and go into the pub or wherever it is that you're fancying going. Um, our one finishes us with us in a circle because a lot of ours, for some reason, we started off finishing in circles, so we still finish in circles as often as not. But um, it, it, it's just a cast out. It says cast out, I think, in the actual dance call. But uh, you do your arms like that all the way out until you've got to where you're going. I don't need to practice that, do I? Nah. No. This will be your, your final test. Can you do a cast out doing your arms and get off the stage quite decently? Right. OK, um, can I just say a couple of special thank yous before I do? Um, behind here is my technical advisor. Um, I'm trying to get him on. I'm not very good at this. Uh, Peter, who's been the music, he's usually playing, but he's consented to work a computer this time, just so as we didn't have any problems of uh, making sure the music was consistent and everything, the same speed and everything. Um, and uh, a special thank you to Carol, who loves dancing and has been just supervising. And to, of course, to the other members of the team. I know we've got Deb there. I think we've probably got. Um, Bridget, oh, Bridget, of course, uh, who helped us set this up as well. And um, George, I think George is supposed to be there somewhere as well. If there's anybody else, I'm really sorry, but thank you so much. Right, let's go for it. From the beginning, the performance. Let's do it. Okay, Peter, ready when you are. All right. Yeah. And on the screen, yes. Yeah. I want to watch it through. Uh, can I just say a big thank you to Virginia and Peter and Carol for an excellent workshop um, and 
Virginia only started using Zoom a couple of months ago. So um, I think she's done brilliantly, don't you? Yeah. Um, can we all unmute ourselves and give them a big round of applause? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, so if you've enjoyed the workshop, Virginia would love it if you played into their charity. Oh, hold on, we might need to mute everybody. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I should have said if um if you've enjoyed the workshop, yeah. could you pop a few quid, if you've got any spare money, pop a few quid into the chosen charity, which is Beat the Street um, in uh, Bury in Lancashire. And I've sent you the details. It's only a bank transfer, but if you, I've sent you the details in the email. And um, lovely to see everybody. We've got um, Hazel Ord of Ald of Kinewood that is doing one at the end of the month. So um, I should look forward to seeing some of you there. Anyway, if anyone else wants to chat or give Virginia a wave or a thank you, then um then please thank do you. go now thank you so much thank you thank you very much thank you so much thank you bye thank you bye thank you bye 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 bye